Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Gardening Kitchen. Today I just wanted to come here to give you a quick update on how the seeds that I have started last week are doing and to show you a box, some things that I got from Joni's. I noticed that I stuffed everything that I bought from Joni's last year. It's very high quality and durable, so I bought some more this year. And this is not sponsored by them, I just like their stuff because it's a bit more resistant. Last year I did a 72 tray sale from a cheap place that I got, I think I got at Home Depot. Just like, a, I don't remember the brand, but they were terrible. They just broke and it was very hard to bend. And, I can already tell by taking this out of this box from Johnny's that this is a lot better quality. So this is what I got from them this time. Uh, this pack comes with five and it was I think seven dollars because I got on sale. I Johnny's have to pay for shipping but it's still worth it because I also wanted to get some fertilizer. I like to use Neptune's harvest and they sell them there too. I did buy a too small. Usually I buy a little bit bigger but I you know it's not fully pay attention I guess and I selected the smallest the first option there which was the smallest but this should be enough for my seedlings because I dilute them with water by half of the strength of what they suggest suggest here for when I start fertilizing the seedlings and this is going to be good so this is the Neptune's Harvest Fish Fertilizer you can get them in other places too and I also got some seeds always every time i ordered from a seed supplier i ended up getting a few more seeds mostly i wanted to show this they have different sizes too i was thinking to also get the one the 38 because they have more space in between them i started last the seeds last week probably very early i don't know i'm a little bit conflicted about it because in the seed pack say that i had to start 13 weeks before our last frost date sounds very early i'm not doing any of my warm weather stuff yet some of the things that i'm growing for now just mostly flowers say that they need a chilling period outside and they can tolerate temperatures in the low 20s which is great but this is my first time doing this so be advised i'm experimenting this year the temperatures here in new york have been quite warm already we have been days in the 40s and just comes to the mid 30s at night so i think it's gonna be okay i'm gambling it might be a little early but i also have hoops and a frost cover so they're gonna be covered if we do get very cold temperatures. You know, before I get super off track here, let me show you, I'll talk about the seeds that I got from Johnny's on my order. Cause it's always fun, right? To see what we've been ordering for seeds. I have already placed a lot of seed orders during last year's growing season. So if I knew that I wanted something, something did good, or I watched a video from someone on YouTube and saw that they were growing something that I thought I would like, I went ahead and already ordered because at this time of the year, you know, things can be sold out and etc. So I decided to just be ahead of the game, but I'm still ordering some seeds because, you know, aren't we all? doing that now. I decided to just order some more full weather flowers because most of these guys should be done by the end of April, beginning of May, which is when I'm planning to start putting out my vegetables and my zinnias, sunflowers, dahlias, etc. Last year at the plot, I was looking through some pictures and by April 30th, I had nothing growing there. Nothing. I tried to put some seedlings in there, some brassicas, but it was just bad timing, they were still too small in a week and I don't think I hardened them enough and they didn't make it. But I would like to use that space a little more this year. I don't know if I'm gonna do brassicas, I keep debating about it because they take a lot of space and they take more care. I'll have to go there and fertilizer and then we have all the cabbage moths that come early in the season. And I just thought flowers are low maintenance, I'll be able to try something new because I never grew these flowers in the spring, so I ordered more flowers. I decided to get some white dill because they look very nice and airy and beautiful and I planted some fennel last year that I completely fell in love with. I planted a bronze fennel with my herbs. It's perennial, it's still alive, it's coming back, it's sending some shoots now. But they had this beautiful yellow round flowers. Oh, I have them in here, one second. These are actually the seed pods. So this is, I use this fennel for cooking and for tea. They all looked like this, very pretty. And I harvested a lot where they were fresh because I would make tea off them or just put them in bouquets. I had a little flower vases every week through the season last year and I loved it to bring a little more color inside. And this fennel produced a lot. This is from one plant. I had some of my green stock, I had some in the plot. They get really big, so I'm gonna have to probably trim the ones in the green stock a lot more. 
But I love the way they look and I wanted to get more of that feel in the garden. So I decided to get to deal with the white flowers. I said the one with the yellow that would look the same as the final that I already have. Put this on the side. Then I got some light spur because I wanted to try different things too. And I don't have anything blue. And this is a perennial too. So it's just supposed to come back, which is cool. Low maintenance. And then I got more stock because... They're supposed to flower very early. So I got this cat's apricot apricot stock, which just looks so nice. And I also got this vintage bra stock. So I have the whole space in the plot to plant them. The thing about planting brassicas there that I was thinking is that once I was looking through my videos and my notes again, I also saw the, some of the brassicas, the cauliflower and the broccoli, they were going all the way into mid-May. And that time is a time where I would like to already have space to plant my warm season vegetables. So I really think I can dedicate a lot more space for these cold loving flowers this year in the pot. Just so I have something growing. The soil there is now getting really good. It's been three years since we have been trying, trying to amend and adding things and adding compost. And I was just working there the other day and it's so nice and fluffy and I'm going to amend it again. It's good for the soil to also to have things growing in it, to have roots. And I'll just keep fertilizing, adding some more compost to it to keep boosting its, its nutrition. But that's it for this mini scene haul from Jonis. Now we can talk about the seeds that I have started. I ended up putting the heat mat this past few days because I was not seeing anything germinating. I was getting frustrated. And <laughs> the dome has been here, but now the dome is nice and you know, condensated and check this out. We have our first little babies. I actually turned them around because this is the stock, the first variety I grew. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Now that I have these little sprouts, I wanted to put these under light. So these ones, none of them have sprouted yet. They're just chilling still. But this, if I leave them like they are here, they'll start stretching for the light and get really, really leggy. Even though it's supposed to be okay for stock to get leggy, I don't want to get too leggy. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing this lamp here and I'm adding this little light that I got three years ago at Home Depot before I had my full grow light set up downstairs. I am not ready to put this tray downstairs yet. I was planning to clean up my rack. My rack downstairs is storing things. So there's some gardening supplies in there, some dried flowers, a few other things that I have to find a new home. And I am not ready to put this thing down yet. So I'm going to use this little lamp, you know, this little thing that I haven't been using. And I'll direct this just to those seedlings over there. And then once everything's sprouted, I'm gonna have to clean up my rack and put them downstairs. But this is actually kind of cool. It has different options here for different stages of the growth. So if you have a small space and it's only planning to start a few things, you could buy this. And then there's this little thing here that you can just change. Now I'm gonna leave into seed instead of grow. This just means that they have like different spectrum. So seed I think is blue and grow I think is bold. Flower is red light and then this switch option here. So I'm gonna put into seed now just into the seedlings are a little bigger and then I'm gonna move it to grow but I will just put this in here so let's see how it goes this is on the seed option yeah it's kind of bluish so we can leave it in here these things here moves and I could put closer if I wanted or farther if I want to to go to the whole thing and kind of put it on the side. I'm putting right on top of it this time. I just want to make sure they'll be, be a bit strong. So I'll keep this directly on top of them at this distance for now. I also do think they like the humidity that the dome was providing. So I'm just going to try to put it. Okay, there we go. Put this dome here. It fits great. So put the dome. Get, keep it nice and humid for them and then some light on top. Oh my gosh, I already got my seeds wet. This thing about paper. I'm gonna have to plant this soon. What was this? White dill. Oh well. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on. So we already have the first seedlings of the season. I've been coming every morning and staring at them every day to see if they come up. So I'm very happy that I finally can see some green in there. Let's see how that goes. It's first time growing stock. They're supposed to be able to go out super early. Oh, I also one more thing. I almost forget that I'm gonna be done, I promise. It's the ranunculus. What is it? I did start six ranunculuses. I should put the link on the screen too. 
The corms actually come pretty fast. I soaked them as soon as I got here for a few hours and then I put them in here. Nothing has happened, but I hope it worked because vernaculas are very, very beautiful. I just want to see if I can grow them, if they will grow it here for me to give us some very pretty homegrown bouquets. So that's it. Now I'm done. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you have any questions about anything, you can always put them in the comment section down below. I'm also planning to film a Q&A video answering some questions from last year, some new questions that you guys have sent to me on Instagram on the little box that I opened there. If you missed last video where I started those seeds, I will link it on the side here as well so you can watch that next. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.